Hi everyone. Uh, hope all of you are doing well. So today we are dis uh, we came here to discuss uh, one of the time of feature that is called take rule. So uh, first uh, we will discuss mon uh, majorly on two points. First is uh, what is take rule and another is how to create take rule and where to apply that. So if we come up to our first question, uh, what is take rule? Uh, means the definition of take rule then we can say it is basically a rule to restrict users to apply for leave of absence if the application violates the condition for leave of absences for those employees as per business policies so if we try to imagine one example for that suppose you are an employee of an organization and uh, you are privileged to take the privileged leave of your organization Okay, but your organization has some policies that employees cannot take consecutive Fridays as a leave in our in the time type of privilege leave. Okay, so uh, suppose you have already applied for a leave for this Friday, then you cannot apply for a leave in next Friday under privilege leave time type. So that kind of restrictions company applied via policy and. Uh, Take rule is the way in success factor we can apply these restrictions to the employees when they are going to apply leave in SF. So uh, now the question is how to create this take rule and where to apply this. So we will check that in the system in live configurations and uh, to do that we have already picked up one re uh, requirement uh, means as a purpose of a scenario we have picked up one requirement and it is a pretty simple requirement actually that is employee cannot apply leave for more than two consecutive days and to achieve this requirement we have to go through some test cases what are those so first test case is employee trying to apply more than two days consecutive leave in one single application so obviously our ta uh, take rule should restrict that that is day one day two day three employee trying to apply in a single application so see, uh, it should not be uh, as per uh, business policy or uh, requirement employee should not apply that you have to restrict that second test case is employee already applied one day leave and uh, it is either in approval pending status if some workflow is associated with that application so either it can be in uh, approved or pending status not in rejected status of course and now employee trying to apply more two days consecutive leave in a separate application so yolo one is first day one it is already uh, applied now day two and day three uh, employee trying to apply in a separate application so uh, then we have our take rule should restrict such kind of test case as well now test case three is employee already applied two days consecutive leave in one single application and it is either in approved or pending status not in rejected status and now employee trying to apply another one day leave in a consecutive days so two days is already applied now employee trying to apply third day in a separate application and overall it will be a consecutive more than three days uh, two days leave so in such case as per uh, requirement um, uh, system should restrict that employee to apply leave in in such manner and the test case four will be employee already applied two days consecutive leave in two separate applications uh, day one is already suppose already approved day two is uh, not approved yet but it is in pending status and now employee trying to apply another one day leave it is also a consecutive day so three separate leave of absences here so uh, but uh, as it is also consecutive more than two days system should restrict employee to applying such kind of leaves so let's go into the system and see how we can restrict uh, employees um, apply leave in such a manner how to create this take rules we are in the system now so first of all we should uh, know where actually we should assign these take rules uh, we'll uh, I'll try to prepare more uh, time of videos with proper scenarios later um, to make you understand uh, what is the structure of time of in success factors but till now for this uh, understanding purpose you should uh, just uh, know that the take rule should be assigned to the time types time types and nothing but the leap types here one uh, leap type we have picked up for an example zudi duty uh, that is applicable for australian employees 
and here if we go down we can see there is a take rule option is here so we need to create one business rule and we need to assign that business rule in this area and uh, the leave of absences uh, raised by employee those are saved in one MDF object as well the MDF object name is the employee time where all employees leave of absence data is getting saved so this is the underlying table of that so here you can see one example for one user leave of absences uh, are uh, created uh, under the time type working time uh, you should notice these two fields start and end date because based on these two fields we are going to create our business tool for take, uh, take rule purpose so now let's go and create our take rule so in take rule section Uh, let's put our take rule name take rule t uh, the base object of take rule should be employee time employee time let's continue so here to uh, fulfill our first uh, condition uh, first test case that uh, employee should not uh, em employee trying to apply more than two days consecutive leave in one single application and we have to restrict that so to do that in if condition as you see as we choose the employee time as base object all the employee time fields are available right now here so we have to choose the number of days in our application that if it is greater than two days then we have to set one error message for that we have already created a error message for take rule purposes so we can use it here so error message i have created you cannot apply more than two consecutive days okay and the severity i'm setting error so that uh, this um, user should not bypass this message and saving it So now let's check this first test case one uh, the employee we have to assign this test, uh, take rule to our particular time type let's assign it first So here is the time type, uh, take action, make correction, put our tick rule, tick rule D, this is the tick rule, put one external code, it should be a unique code, that's it, <coughs> and save it. So, so we have assigned uh, the tick rule to our time types and let's check it now to an uh, employee. Let's box C1 external employee, uh, one Australian employee, Mark Burke is an Australian employee. Proxy him. Uh, let's go to the time of section of that employee yeah this is the time of this is the duty duty we have selected and uh, apply for leave more than two days so you can see when we try, try to apply for leave more than two days requesting date is four days here the error message is triggering for more take rule you cannot apply more than two days consecutive leave so the first test case is successfully executed now let's go to test case 2 
as per uh, test case 2 now we are going to apply uh, two days leave where on one day leave is already approved and now we are going to apply two more two days consecutive leave so overall it is uh, going to be three days means more than two days leave so how to uh, restrict that via take rule let's say it we have to enhance or extend our uh, existing tech rule for that let's add else if uh, first thing is we are now going to apply uh, number of days is now two days and we have to now put on and condition and now we have to determine if the previous day of our current leave of absence which are going to apply now the previous date uh, that day already employee all, uh, applied for a leave we have to determine that so how to determine that we have to apply one uh, standard function called lookup and we have to look up based uh, to which object employee time because here here only all uh, LOA data we are storing now uh, as you see when we just put uh, employee time as our base object uh, means in the lookup then automatically the select option is coming so it is a lookup is nothing but uh, building a select query in our backend tables so what we are going to select here we are going to select here the end date we are going to pull the end date and we are going to check this end date uh, is basically one day before of our current uh, LOA, LOA date or not current LOA start date or not so how to do that means uh, current uh, LOA is one day before if any LOA is already uh, recorded or stored in the system or not to check that we are uh, building this section lookup employee time end date we are pulling the end date and if that is equals to uh, base date is our current uh, leave of absence start date we don't need months putting months as zero and number of days that is minus one that means the current uh, LOS start dates one day before if that date matches with the uh, already exist uh, employee times end date that may, uh, then uh, we can system can understand we can or we can understand that uh, employee has already applied for a leave just one day before of our current application so so this is the scenario means uh, the current started suppose day two then day two minus one we are getting day one and day one uh, it should be the end date of our previous applications uh, LOA date so if that matches then we system can understand yeah these two are applying in a consecutive days but uh, only end date should not be the correct criteria we have to add the other criteria as well uh, in applying the where clause and what should be the other criteria other criteria should be we need to look up only the particular time type not the other time types what should the time type here it should be the time top of our current leave of absence which we are applying means jury date jury duty so jury duty with the current type so our lookup function will search based on jury duty only and another where clause we need to add that is the start date of this leave of absence should also be 
the uh, okay let me just build it then we can explain so the start date of this leave of absence should also be the one day before of our current leave of absence that means we are going to apply the leave of absence of these gray areas okay now uh, as per our condition we cannot apply more than uh, more, uh, more than two days in consecutive uh, LOA okay so the start date of this yellow ones LOA should also be one day before of the start date of this current LOA and also the end date of, of this yellow ones LOA al also be the one day before of this current LOA date LOA start date okay so both if matches then only we can we can confirm okay one day before date that is already applied by the employee and the uh, duration of that leave is one day then we can make uh, uh, our system understand that all one day is already applied by the employee before applying this current LOA date <coughs> that's why we are putting two conditions here in the where clause one is the time type uh, that's why you are applying these two where uh, conditions one is the time type that should be the current LOS time type another is the start date that also be the uh, one day before of our current LOS start date if these conditions satisfied then we can restrict user of taking more than two days leave in consecutive uh, in consecutive way in separate applications uh, for that we also already built one okay one message is already built uh, by us that is user already applied for leaves in previous consecutive days let's put it in error so this tool is now built where employee is going to apply two days leave uh, as for our test case two days leave here and employees previous day of that particular LOA start date is already applied by employee in a separate application where the start date and end date is same that means it is one day's duration okay so let's check it uh, how system is behaving in this rule and now we are trying to uh, apply one day leave first submit so 10th of September leave we have already now applied now we are uh, trying to apply leave for more than for two days okay and see as 10th is or now already applied and we are now trying to apply 11th and 12th in consecutive days then these that uh, take rule is now executed to restrict that user has already applied for leave in previous consecutive days so in, in consecutive count we can see it is more than three days so system is restricting to apply that so our second test case is also uh, successfully tested now if we move to our third test case so uh, till now means uh, suppose uh, if we check it here now suppose two days leave we are going to apply employee can apply two days leave now if employee also wants to apply another consecutive days leave there is no restriction no error is coming so employee can apply this leave you can employee can submit this leave uh, but this scenario we want to restrict now via our take rule so let's go to the system and uh, try to extend our existing take rule so here we are to extend our take rule let's add uh, now we are going to apply for a single day leave 
so in the number of days it should be less than 2 and in and section now again we have to apply that uh, lookup function and the object will be employee time and we are trying to select again the end date but here the scenario is uh, we need to calculate first the end date uh, is just before of this new applications previous day uh, and the start date of that leave is before two days of, of our current application if we able to find that if any leave exists with this criteria then we can understand employees already applied uh, day one and day two in a single application with duration two days so let's try to find it here as well the base date will be start date and the end date will be minus one one day before and in the where clause again we are putting the time type as current LO uh, yes the end date must be one day before of our current LOS start date So we can identify by this criteria, we can identify uh, that the end date is just one day before of our current LOS start date. But uh, what about the start date of these uh, previous LOA? We need to identify that as well. So let's save it first. And we have to extend this uh, rule bit more rule so for that purpose again we have to apply another lookup function and the base object time to employ time and uh, select object uh, select field should be start date uh, which should match with the current LOS start date minus two days before minus two days before and the where clause we need to add the time type uh, which should be the current LOS time type to minimize our search and the start date should be current LOS start date minus two days so this is the rule we it should determine this uh, uh, start date of this previous LOA uh, and if this satisfied we need to apply one message that is include message yeah, you have already applied for leave of since in previous consecutive test that's the same message will be applicable here so put it it's already 
here save it and now let's check it uh, how it is working so here uh, as you see now 17 and 18 is already applied and previously when we have not extended our rule then uh, employee was allowed to apply it for leave for 19th as well uh, now if we want to apply 19th then we are getting this error because we have already applied that logic in our tick rule and we are getting this error employee has already applied for leaves in previous consecutive days so uh, in such case our test case 3 is also successfully tested now the thrust uh, the fourth uh, test case it is employee now applied two consecutive leap in two separate applications that means day one he has applied might be it is uh, approved now and day two he has applied might be it is now pending status and now again day three uh, he is going to apply in a separate application but overall consecutively as uh, it is more than two days application right now since as per uh, business policy we should restrict this scenario as well so if we know but uh, how to restrict that scenario actually uh, this scenario is already covered whatever the logic we have built for test case 3 so let's check and test it uh, duty Yeah, day one I'm just choosing 24 September submit it is applied successfully now for day two day two supports 25th September it is also no error there one day now two days consecutive leave is already applied in two separate applications uh, now let's see day 6 26 when we try to apply now system is throwing error so our all four test cases is now successfully tested via this business rule so hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hope we also get something uh, new uh, um, or <laughs> oh, hope you, you and we also get something new to learn by these tech rule uh, actions so keep watching please uh, don't forget to sub subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and please try to share this uh, video as, as more as possible uh, thank you thanks a lot keep watching happy learning